What we did on our holiday. This movie opens with a clearly on less than great terms couple of parents trying to corral their kids into a car. Dad Doug is negotiating with his youngest girl, the adorable and strange Jess about the friends she can bring with her. One of them, it seems, is a brick. Her best friends are stones now? Doug indignantly asks a strange wife Abby shortly after. Have you spoken to anybody about it? The ever exasperated Abby rolls her eyes and shoots back who? A geologist? Good one, and what we did on our holiday, written and directed by Andy Hamilton and Guy Jenkin, is replete with zingers, a quality not to be disdained in a family comedy of miscommunication. Doug and Abby are on the outs, planning to divorce, but reuniting for a weekend to visit Doug's kin in the Hebrides. Doug's dad Gordy is an ex-football star whose latest birthday will probably be his last. As Gordy eventually explains to Abby and Doug's oldest child, the curious and analytical tween Lottie, you've heard of cancer? Well I've got that. Doug and Abby are determined to keep up appearances not just for Gordy but the children's sake. But of course the three children see right through their ever-feuding parents' lies. Doug and Ari's feckless, near-constant deceptions are countered by Gordy's honesty. The exceptionally warm Connolly does great things with his role as a long-haired patriarch determined to go out of his life his way, despite the efforts of his other son, Rich Financier and utter twit Gavin, to stage a white elephant of a party for him. Once Abby and Doug finally get their brood to Scotland, Gordy abskins to a beach with the three kids, where he sets an example of honesty that they eventually take to a bit of an extreme. Every human being on this planet is ridiculous in its own way. Gordy reflects to Lottie, going on to say that the point of life is to love them not just in spite but because of that. The movie is inspired by the BBC sitcom Outnumbered, also a Hamilton and Jenkin effort, in which two parents were pitted against three children and a lot of the dialogue was improvised in a kid say the darn dest things spirit. Holiday does a good job of making the young characters look terrifically spontaneous, and the adult cast is rife with expertise. Pike is both frazzled and dry, while Tennant proves that his wide-eyed intensity works as well as a comic tick as it does when he's playing an existentially tortured bloke in more serious fare. The movie's storyline takes an eccentric turn when the kids decide to honor Gordy's wish for a Viking funeral, while Hamilton and Jenkin provide a lot of gentle moments of poignancy. And the cinematography of the Scottish countryside goes a long way in selling the movies The Simple Pleasures of Life Our Best Philosophy. Holiday wisely sticks to its frantic but not grotesque farce guns throughout its tidy 95 minutes. It wears not just its Britishness but its relative good taste on its sleeve, unlike its US counterparts, there's nary a poop or fart joke in evidence in this domestic comedy. It's not what you'd call major cinema, but it's a breezy entertainment particularly if you're a fan of one or more of the cast members, 